In this review, I'll be taking a look at the reissue figure of the Lenny Mogwai figure by NECA. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As I already mentioned, this is a re-release of this figure. It originally came out in 2011. The packaging on this new release is different. This one comes on a blister card. Looking a little closer, towards the bottom is the character's name as well as an illustration. Moving up, you can see the figure itself. At the top is the Grimos 2 logo. This figure is number 5 in this new wave of Mogwai figures. The opposite side just states the action feature. Turning right to the back, you can see all the other reissue Mogwais in this wave, as well as instructions for the action feature. Here are some more Gremlins figures also available. And lastly, a little bio for Lenny. Once the figure is removed, you can see the front of the card back. This is a homage to the old Topps trading cards from the Gremlins 2 film. And here is that original card. The back has the same little bio as well. Now let's take a closer look at the figure. This figure is mostly the same as the original release, but there are a few differences, which I will show in a bit. Starting with the head sculpt, this figure is beautifully sculpted. Lenny looks just like he did in the film, that definitely being on the goofy side. The large bug teeth adds to that goofy looking expression. The paint throughout the fur is nicely applied. It mostly consists of light brown, with white and some added black. Fun fact, Lenny gets his name from the name of the character in the book of Mice and Men. The sculpted fur is very well done. It definitely adds realism to the figure. Going down to the body is mostly the same as every Nekamagwa figure. The difference with this figure is there is an added piece applied to the body to make the figure stand taller than the other Mogwai. This is a great attention to detail as Lenny was the tallest Mogwai in the film. There is a black wash over the brown fur paint which I do like. The white paint with black trim really pops alongside that brown. The legs are still the same as the other Mogwai. There are no peg holes in the bottoms of the feet. Here's a look at the back side. The back has a beautiful design pattern. Sticking out of the back of the head is a clear plastic tab. For those of you who don't already know, this is to keep the eyes in place. Now let's go over the articulation. The ears can rotate, as well as slightly move forwards and backwards. The head has a lot of movement. It can look side to side, has a great amount of tilt. It can look down this far, and up this far. The arms can go slightly forwards and backwards, as well as in and out. The lower arm has rotation, as do the hands. The leg articulation is almost non-existent. There's very minimal rotation and not much forwards and backwards movement. Upon pulling the tab out, now you can play with the action feature. Roll the trackball around to make the eyes move. At least on my copy, the trackball is kind of difficult to move. It kind of keeps getting stuck. Honestly, I'm not a fan of this feature at all. For such a simple gimmick, it can be very frustrating. Most of the time, the eyes get out of sync with one another. Or when you have them where you want and let go, they look up once you let go of the trackball. My suggestion is get them positioned where you like and pop that plastic tab back in and never touch again. Now let's finally compare this new release alongside the original release. While at first glance they might look the same, the paint does differ. The brown fur on the new one is a bit lighter. I'm okay with that. The buck teeth are different. I'm okay with that too. What I'm not okay with and what makes me not like this new release is, they mess up the color of the eyes. The new release has brown eyes which is not accurate to the film. The original's eye color is orange and yellow which is accurate to the film. Even the promotional pics on sites that sell these figures have the correct eye color. They totally dropped the ball on this. I love and praise NECA all the time, but this is yet another Mogwai release with a paint error. The reissue Mohawk Mogwai had the wrong ear fur color. It's just disappointing in my opinion. Here's Lenny next to that reissue Mohawk. Here he is alongside an ultimate gizmo, a gizmo from the accessory pack, and finally Lenny in his gremlin form. 
I love how the buff thief carried over into his gremlin form. So that is my review of the NECA Gremlins Lenny Mogwai reissue figure. Overall I do really like this figure. The sculpting and most of the paint are top notch. My biggest gripes are on the trackball eye movement and the eye color being changed. If you don't own the original release, I say buy this new one. But if you do own the original, I would just stick with that one. Once again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.